Hello everyone, welcome back to Kuala 2K Tutorials. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn how to do the validation for our results that will be produced by Kuala 2K. So before I start, I would like to remind you about the coloring and its indication. So uh, in Kuala 2K, we have different colors for sheet colors. You can see here we have this light blue and we have also a yellow color and also we have a light blue uh, or light green then finally we we have uh, this pink color so uh, each color indicates something in this case for today all these sheets in yellow color indicates the uh, sections at which we can insert our data so to do the validation we are going to use all of these sheets and today we are going to continue with the previous example, which uh, which is uh, Fox River. We are going to simulate Fox River, and uh, everything has been inserted in each sheet. So we insert uh, the uh, initial data here in the first sheet. Then the headwater we insert it as a single stream. So this is a single stream. That means we have only I mean stem, no tributaries, and the data here in uh, the downstream is not needed in this case and the rich data have been inserted as well uh, and the rich reads also have been uh, inserted all of the inputs have been inserted in those blue sheets so now let's run the model and uh, navigate through the results this model here there are no uh, data to uh, to validate our model so uh, there is no data you can see all of these sheets are empty uh, so for now, let's run uh, the numerical modeling and see um, or navigate through the results. Then later on, we are going to do the validation and check the result as well. So now I'll run the model. It will take a few seconds. Okay, guys. So now the simulation is completed. And now let's have a look uh, in the results. Okay, so guys, let's start to investigate or go through the results. So we will start with the fluid discharge in bit cube per second. And you can see this line is the fluid discharge along the river, which have been produced by Kuala 2K. And you can see here in the beginning of this line, which is the upstream, which is 157 kilometer, while this location is the downstream, which located in the zero. So the X axis represent the distance while the y-axis represents the discharge image q per second same thing to go to the velocity you can see this is the velocity distribution along the river distance here is the depth as well the same things goes to the depth and also we have for example the temperature uh, with distance and we have this is an organic suspended solid and we have several results here like the sulfur oxygen bod uh, and others uh, so let's start the validation process for now we will start to validate the hydraulic data in terms of uh, discharge water depth and flow velocity for that purpose you have to have uh, a recorded or major data in the river itself so uh, for example uh, i have this sheet this external sheet i have uh, the hydraulic data here these data have been measured in the river itself at different uh, distances along the river i have around 45 I have around 45 readings that have been uh, taken from the river directly that have been measured in the river directly also i have uh, temperature data i have uh, water quality data as well so let's start to uh, validate the uh, discharge which is the uh, q emit q per second so uh, i'll just copy these two values okay so guys these values you have to measure it at the river you have to measure it at the river then you can insert it to quality okay to validate your made uh, your model so i'm going to copy these two values which then i'm going to paste it here i'm going to boost it this is the distance and this is the discharge i'm just going to paste it as the numbers so you can see these are my measured data for fox river 
uh, in the first column, we need to insert the tributary number. In this case, we are simulating only one single river, so the tributary number will be zero. So I'll just uh, put zero for all measured data as like this. So before I continue, let me just explain uh, what I mean by the measured values. So let's say if this is our river, let's just create a single line here. This is our river, which is a single river with no tributaries. And I need to go to the field, to the river, and measure some values at different location or distances. For, uh, for example, I'm just going to take several readings along the river like this, and I'm going to for example, I'm going to measure the temperature, uh, discharge, uh, water depth, flow velocity, uh, and other, uh, other water quality parameters like POD, like pH, alkaline, uh, alkalinity, and others. So these values that I'm going to measure here, I'm just going to put it uh, in these sheets. So for now, we are going to uh, validate the discharge. And uh, before I run the model, I'll just show you the current results for the discharge so you can see the discharge we have only the data that produced by quality 2 k so now if we just go back and run our model after inserting uh, these measured values and uh, we are going to compare and uh, between the measured values and the produced result from quality 2 k so the simulation or numerical modeling uh, is finished and now let's check the flow uh, discharge or the discharge results. You can see here that now we have this uh, red to represent the measured value. And this line represent the produced discharge from qual 2 k In this case, we can see our model in terms of discharge is validated nicely. You can see almost overlap the measured values and the produced uh, the produced result from quality 2k same things if we are going to um, validate uh, other uh, hydraulic uh, data for example like we need to validate the water depth and we are going to validate the flow velocity so let's have a look before i just do the validation so this is the flow velocity you can see we have only the results uh, produced from quality 2k even like this is also the water depth we have only the results produced from quality k so let's do the validation uh, for uh, water depth and flow velocity i'll just go back to my uh, measured values you can see here i have the head in meter or the wood uh, the water depth in meter and we have i have here the velocity in meter per second so i'm just going to copy these uh, values and i'm just going to best it here okay guys now i have already best the measured values uh, for the water depth and flow velocity now i'm just going to run this uh, model again and later i'm going to check the results of the flow velocity and water depth and compare between uh, both uh, results from quality key okay and um, the measured values Okay, guys, let's have a look in the flow depth. Flow depth as Z, you can see. And here we have the flow velocity. You can see uh, we have now two type of data, which is the line which is produced by quality key. And we have this, the dotted represent the measured values. And you can see here a little bit, there, there are difference between uh, the produced values and the measured values. Also here, we can see the results that produced uh, from quality 2K, which is the line. And uh, this is the measured values. And for flow depth, we can see uh, our model is validated because there is no big difference or gap between the measured values and the produced value from quality 2K. So now let's see if we are going to um, validate the temperature. So this is the uh, results without validation if we want to validate the temperature we just go to the second sheet which is this one so we are going to uh, open this sheet temperature data then uh, i have this data here i have this measured data in the river i'm just going to copy it 
and I'm just going to paste it here. So this data means that we went to the river and measured these values at this distance, for example, now at a distance from the downstream of one here, yeah, 114, the water temperature was around 25.08. Uh, in this column, the first column, we are going to just insert the tributary number, which is zero, because we are simulating uh, a single river. Then I'll just extend this uh, for uh, the whole readings. Now let's run the model and check the results again in terms of temperature. Okay, okay. Then let's go to the temperature and see. Okay, now we can see the produced data from the quality K, which is the line. And here we have the uh, rectangular dotted here. These are the data that we measured in the river. And we can see here our model uh, is validated. Uh, because there is no big gap or difference between both results. So now let's have a look in how to validate the water quality. For example, uh, we'll just take a simple example on how to validate the inorganic suspended solid. You can see this is the results produced from quality K. Okay? And uh, I, I have uh, measured values or data for um, from the river itself. And uh, now if I want to validate Now, if I want to validate uh, this on organic suspended solid, I'll just go uh, back to this sheet, water quality uh, data. Then uh, I'm just going to go to the uh, recorded data I have measured in the river. And you can see here, I have several uh, data here. Um, uh, in, at, in each distance, for example, this is, you can see here, this is the distance. And now this is the inorganic suspended solid. So uh, I have around, let's say I have around 12 readings. So what I'm going to do exactly, I'm just going to copy the distances. Then I'm just going to paste it here. Then I'm just going back to my data and I'm just going to uh, copy this column and then I just paste it here. Then, okay, same things. I'll just put the tributary number, which is zero. Now let's run the model and check the results again. Okay, guys, done. And now let's go to check the results in terms of inorganic suspended solid. You can see here, this is the measured values and this is the produced values or the produced results from palette 2K. And we can see our model is validated only the first point. There is a mistake here because this is far away from our model. If you can just click here and you can see the value in the upstream which is 33 while in our data this one is 55 and you can find this here so which is this value 55 milligram per liter and these remaining sheets for example uh, if you have the maximum and minimum values of the uh, of the water quality you can just insert it here it seem like the, this sheet uh, but this is for the minimum value and maximum value. And here we have uh, other two sheets to um, validate the deal data. So guys, I think this is all about how to validate um, our results in Kuala 2K. The most important thing that you need to have the measured value from the site. All of these data you have to measure it in the river at several distances along the river. Uh, that's all for today. I hope uh, you'll enjoy this tutorial. And please, uh, if you have any question, just put it in the comment box. Thank you.